Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me using not a full face of new makeup but I'm going to be testing out some new makeup that I've recently gotten from Sephora and Ulta and just random places. Some of it's not even mine. I'm borrowing some from my mother-in-law but so I'm just going to sit down put my makeup on and talk about some new products. Here we go. Before we get into the makeup I do have a few skincare things that I bought that I would like to just mention. I used these last night and this morning. So again, these are just first impressions on these and skincare takes a while, but this is the Drunk Elephant Peaky Bar and Juju Bar. I used the Peaky Bar last night and the Juju Bar this morning. This is just a facial cleansing soap and this is one with a little bit of exfoliation in it, but it's like super, super fine. <laughs> so it's safe for daily use. And I really enjoyed them both. They lather really well and I, I like the exfoliation one because it gives you just a little bit. I think I'll probably use one in the morning and one at night. But so far I'm loving this. And then I've been wanting this for so long. This is the this is the Milk Makeup Tatcha Toner Stick, which is so cool. Matcha. I said Tatcha. It's Matcha. Matcha Toner. Did I say that right? I don't know. Anyways, I've been wanting this for so long because I... I like having toner in my skincare routine, but I hate having to use liquid toner. And so this is so convenient. Um, this is a small size. Stuff is not cheap, but hopefully it will last a little while. But you just rub it all over your face and then I kind of pat it in. Again, I've only used it twice, but so far I do like it. And I'm excited for it, so. In my Sephora order, I did get some samples. One was this Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm. And this is just a, I used this last night. This is just a super lightweight gel consistency moisturizer. It doesn't have a whole lot of a scent. It kind of smells clean. It almost smells like laundry detergent actually. But it's just, um, it actually has pretty good hydration for a gel. But um, again, I've only used it once, but I did enjoy it. And then the last skincare thing that we're gonna jump into the makeup. I got this as a sample with my Sephora order as well. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I've heard a lot about this, so I was excited to try it. And this is actually a pretty generous sample size. This is gonna last me for a, for a little while. Um, but it's really cool. I just dug out a little bit of the balm and it kind of turns into an oil on your face and it removes your makeup. So I wasn't wearing a whole lot of makeup yesterday, so I don't know how well it takes off like waterproof makeup, but I did enjoy using this. All right, so that is the skincare. Let's jump into the makeup. So I don't have any new primers to test out. Actually, I probably do somewhere, but I'm gonna use my tried and true Too Faced Hangover RX. I recently got this back in my life and I love it so much. That feels so good. Okay, primer done. Oh, I'm so excited. I didn't say in the intro, but the entire reason behind this video is this little palette right here. We're gonna get into it when we get to the eyes, but but I am super excited about this. So. Okay, I don't have a new foundation to test out today, but I do new, I do new. I do have a new foundation brush, so I'm going to use a little bit of my Beauty Blender foundation as well as my Flower Beauty Light Illusion. And I'm just going to mix them on the Beauty Blender palette. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, so this is the IT Cosmetics IT Brushes for Ulta. This is the Superstar Flawless Foundation Brush. I have used this a couple of times. It's not um, a first impression, but it is a new product to me. And so far, okay, let me just say this first. I love IT Cosmetics brushes. They are some of the softest, most well-made brushes that I've used, but, here comes the butt. I do like the shape of this though. But, this one is not my favorite. I was kind of a little bit let down by it. My reason behind that is it is a little bit flimsy for a foundation brush. Uh, you know what? You might, no. See, you can't even use it for blush or anything. I don't know. It's a little too flimsy for my taste for a foundation brush. It's not dense enough and um, it leaves brush strokes like crazy. 
crazy in my foundation. So I have to put it on with this and then go over the go over it with a beauty blender to smooth it out. So not my favorite. I think my Sigma F80 is still my favorite foundation brush right now. All right, let's get the forehead. It's fall, guys. Oh my gosh, today is the 22nd, so fall officially started yesterday. And here in Texas, I am close to Dallas. Here in Texas, we um, had some rain and a cold front came through and it actually is starting to feel like fall is coming. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade Light Natural. This is not as full coverage as the shape tape, but I'm not going anywhere. And it's also not l quite light enough for my taste, but we'll just put a little bit of this on. It has an interesting smell too. It is supposed to be waterproof though, so it's supposed to last really well. But it's not quite, this is the lightest shade and it's not quite light enough to brighten under my eyes, but we're just gonna go for a little bit softer look today. Alright, so concealer is blended in. Not too shabby. Alright, and then again, not new, but I'm just going to take my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten and just set under the eyes. This is in the shade Porcelain. And then the nose and around the mouth. Kind of set in this area here. This is another It Cosmetics brush. This is the complexion powder brush and I'm just going to dust a little bit of this over the rest of my face to kind of set that down. Okay so for brows this is actually a new product. I've actually had it a long time but I haven't tried it so I'm going to call it new. Oh I didn't realize it's from Winky Lux. I've been wanting more of their products than I have one. Okay this is the brow pencil from Winky Lux. There's not really any other information on it but it does have a spoolie on one end. I don't typically do a whole lot of filling in my brows, but every once in a while, I will. All right, and then here's the other end. This is kind of a teardrop shaped pencil, and let's see. It's a pretty light brown, but you can, if you dig it in deeper, it gets darker, so. Um, it looks pretty nice. Let's go in and see how this works. It glides pretty well. It's not too slippy though. It is quite easy to push too hard and get too dark of a line, but luckily if you brush, take the spoolie and brush it, it kind of diffuses it. So there is that. That doesn't look too bad. And then I'm going to take my The Brow Gout by Tonya Crooks. Tonya or Tanya? It's probably Tanya Crooks. This is the Instant Brow Hair. This is a tinted brow gel. I'm just going to place that on top. Add a little bit of volume and hopefully stick those brows down a little bit. I really need to pluck my eyebrows. I do know this. So don't say anything. But holy cow, there is a lot to pluck. Okay. Alright, so the next. This one is darker than this one. All right, the next new product is a blush. I actually have two blushes that I can try out. So I have the new, this is a limited edition. I have the new Wet n Wild, no, I don't. This is my mother-in-law's, but this is the new Wet n Wild Color Icon Shade Shifting Blush. This is their zombie blush. She loves all things zombie, so she had to have this. Um, and we can find it in stores anywhere. It has been hard to find. So it may be sold out already, but she got it on Amazon for like, three times what it was worth, but she really wanted it. So, this is a blush. Is that not insane? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna swatch it first, and then we're gonna, we're gonna go in, oh my goodness. It looks green and shiny. Okay, I could totally see that being an awesome eyeshadow, honestly. That is a super duochrome eyeshadow to me, but we're going to try and put it on the cheeks and hopefully we don't mess everything up, but 
That looks really, really cool. This is from Royal and Lang Nickel. I thought this was Moda, but I got it at Walmart. So anyways, it will put on blush lightly if I need to. All right, here we go. Let's see what this does. Is it weird that I can see like black spots? It's, it's, mm hmm I could definitely see some rosiness there. I, I barely put any on and I can like, it's like sticking. All right, I'm taking my powder brush to uh, kind of smooth that out a little bit. It looks like a very natural like red flush though. So let's tap that off and then go on this side as lightly as I possibly can. Oh, okay, that concealer is not covering up his dark circles. Whew. Okay. It's not blending super well on me, but um, there's definitely a little bit of a sheen to it. But it definitely looks like blush. It doesn't look like uh, green or black on the face. So I bet if you packed it on, it, it could definitely look crazy. But I actually may end up using this on the eyes and see how that looks. But this is really, really cool. Um, the other blush that I have that I'm, I guess I could pack on top, but I don't know that I need any more flush. This is from Steve Laurent Blush, and this is Rosé All Day. I will swatch this. Ooh, it's so soft. There's that. That is a beautiful pink shade. And it has a tiny bit of a, a luminosity to it as well. I mean, not like that, but holy cow. That's awesome. Ooh, it's really soft. All right, I'm going to bronze up the face real quick, and then we get to move to the eyes. All right, guys, so I am ready. Look at this eyebrow is driving me crazy. I think I need to even those out before I go further. All right, guys, so I'm ready for the main event, the eyes. Ugh. Okay, so the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using is brand new. I didn't even know about it. Normally, I see all of Too Faced's like, sneak peeks and releases on Instagram and all of that. Um, but this one, I was just browsing Sephora, and I saw this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. So cute, right? Okay, this is the Too Faced Tickled Peach Bite Size Peach Infused Eyeshadow Palette. This is actually for one of our holiday releases. They have this one and a sugar cookie. Now, I've seen the sugar cookie one on Instagram, but I have not seen this one. The sugar cookie, I believe, is exclusive to Ulta, and this one is exclusive to Sephora. And let me tell you, this is the cutest thing. Too Faced has the chocolate bar and the white chocolate bar, and then they came out with the chocolate chip palettes. Now, those were kind of cheaply made. They looked, they, they got horrible reviews, but they were, they were plasticky. The eyeshadows were tiny. There was not as much, much pigmentation. So I was nervous at getting this because it's another size like that, but this is it's like they took the peach palette and put it in a shrinking machine. This is so, so cool. But it is metal. Just hold on. So it is metal just, just like the Sweet Peach palette. Now, this is one of my favorite palettes. Mm, I love the smell. And this one smells... Okay, it's not identical. Cool, but it does smell very similar. So look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Anyways, so it is tin, just like the full-size Sweet Peach Palette. Here are the shades in the Sweet Peach Palette, if you haven't seen them. And then this is the Tickle... Oh no! <gasps> I just dug my fingernail in it. Just smooth it out. Okay. Nobody needs to know. The Tickled Peach Palette is not like it's just the same shades in a smaller one. These are different shades. And at first glance, just looking at them, I love them. Yes, they do have similar tones. They both have purples, but they are very different purples. Um, and I will swatch them when I get to it. But they do have some similar tones, as you can see those two. But this one is a little bit cooler, which I like because summer warm, summer young is too warm for me. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. but. Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, so before I put these on the eyes, I do want to swatch them and see what they look like. Um, again, swatches do not 
tell you how the eyeshadow is going to perform on the eyes, but we are going to get to that. We're, we're, we're going to do it. You ready? Okay. So we're going to start off with the two shades. We have Peach Bum and Parisian Peach. Let's see. Peach Bum, please. Ooh, yes. I love it. That is beautiful. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. The next two we have Peachy Swear and Peach Spice. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so that one didn't swatch the best, but it is a matte shade and it will build. It looks like it blends well. I'm already excited, okay. All right, the next two we have Warm and Fuzzy and Tickled. Ooh, nice swatch. <laughs> Good swatches. <laughs> All right, so there are those. And then the last two we have are Love Pit and Plum Fun. All right, so love pit and plum. Don't let me down. Okay, so those are the swatches of the tickled peach palette. Now we're gonna go ahead and get these on the eyes. So I'm gonna use a new primer to me. This I got in my, I don't know where I got this. I feel like it was my Ipsy, but that sounds wrong. Anyway, this is from Luscious. This is their Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer Base. This definitely has some color to it. Holy cow. It's very, very dark on me. Um, it looks like I'm putting a foundation on my eyelid that's like three or four shades too dark. So now to apply the eyeshadow, I have three new brushes and I am super, I'm gonna say this over and over in this video and I apologize, but I am super excited for these brushes. Oh my gosh. These are the cutest brushes and my most exciting purchase of brushes ever. It came with this little pencil pouch, which is adorable. I will probably pass this on to my sister because she's 13 and this just looks like a 13 year olds, right? Anyways, this is from It Cosmetics. This is the, oh, I don't remember the name of the set, but I will link it below. I think it's a holiday thing or it's a limited edition, but these look like pencils. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have a smudger, we have an all over shadow brush, and then we have a crease brush. And they have little sayings on them, but I, again, it cosmetics brushes are so soft, but I cannot get over that they look like pencils. Okay, let's start this, shall we? So we're gonna take the crease brush. Okay, so I'm going to try and set down the eyeshadow primer. It is quite thick and it's creasing already. Not a huge fan of it so far, um, but I'm going to take the lightest shade in Peach Bum and I'm going to set down that eyeshadow primer. I'm actually gonna take it all the way up because this base is really dark and maybe this will lighten it up a smidge. So that is set down. Now I'm gonna go Peach Spice right here using the same crease brush. And I'm just gonna start working this from the outer corner into the crease. Just to define that crease a little bit. I love these brushes already. They're soft, they're cute, and they're working well. Okay, so that is a good start. Where do we wanna go now? All right, I'm gonna take the Oliver Shadow Brush from this set and I'm just gonna go ahead and just dig into this purple shade. This is the Plum Fun. I'm gonna tap my brush in here. This is a little bit of a fluffier all over shadow brush. So let's see how this works. Oh, my concealer is creasing. I'm just going to put this on the outer edge and Blend it slightly forward. I'm going to go back with that crease brush and blend this out into the crease a little bit. Nice and diffused. Pull it up just a little bit since my eyes are hooded. Pull up that crease a smidge. And I'm gonna repeat on the other eye and come back. I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, so there has been a little bit of fallout on that purple shade. 
but it appears to be wiping away, so that's good. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced All Over Shadow Brush. This one's just a little bit smaller and more dense. And I'm gonna take this pink shade in Peachy Swear, and we're gonna put this on the middle of the lid. And oh my gosh, I love this so much. Okay, so the battery on my camera died, but we are back. And we need to put the pink on this one and then we'll move on. All right, and then I'm gonna take the lighter shimmer shade and Parisian Peach right here and put this on the inner corner of the lid. And oh my gosh, it's beautiful. All right, Too Faced, you did it with this palette. I really, really like it. And the size and cuteness of this, I think you have redeemed yourself from the chocolate chip mess. Because this is awesome. This is making me want to try the sugar cookie one too. If you want to see that video, if you want me to buy it, let me know, okay? Let me know. Comment below so I will have an excuse to give to my husband to buy it. Yes, do that for me. Okay, um, I'm gonna use this. The brush I was using before for the purple didn't pack it on like I wanted to, so I'm gonna use this to put a little bit more in the outer corner. It's the same brush. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this to deepen that up on the outer bit. and tap that purple one off because it does fall out a little bit. So just to keep, to blend things a little bit further, I'm going to take that crease brush, brush. I'm gonna take that crease brush again and go back into that brown shade and just lightly go over this crease area and blend that purple into that brown. A little bit of powder very very lightly touching the skin right here so all those shadows were applied with a brush and i think they look amazing that pink and oh they look really good but i do want to see what it looks like with the finger to see if it intensifies it any so i'm just going to take that pink shade right there and i'm just going to tap it on the center of the lid to see what that does wow oh i'm so happy right now the only thing missing from this palette is a highlight shade for me. So I'm going to get into another palette real quick. So I'm going to go to my tried and true chocolate bar and use the best highlighting shade ever. This is in Champagne Truffle. It's a pinky shade. So I think that'll look really good with this. It's a little bit more cool tone of a pink, but um, I think it's going to add a nice pop right there. Do you hear that? Right there. Right about there. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of that under the brow bone to lighten that up a little. We're going to take the smudger brush from this adorable collection and we're going to smudge this on the whoo, lower lash line. Okay, then I'm going to take I'm going to take this shade since I haven't used it yet. A little bit of that. That one's not as powdery as the other brown. And I'm going to smudge it on the outer edge. These are pigmented. I'm telling you, oh my goodness. I am loving this. That completes the eyeshadow. We're going to move on to eyeliner. And I do have a new eyeliner to test out. So I got this eyeliner from, from my Ipsy box. This is from Scone. I think is how you say that. S-K-O-N-E. This is their Tattooed Mini Waterproof Eyeliner in Insanely Intense Jet Black. I'm horrible at this, so we'll see how much of this I can get on camera. That goes on pretty well. It is black, but I will say it's pretty shiny. Oh, if I tap it, it kind of mattifies it a little bit. Maybe it's still just still wet. It's a little bit liquidy, um, but it does 
it does go on really well. It's just a little, a little bit runny. Let me curl my lashes real quick and then we'll get some mascara on. And it is starting to rain out there. Hopefully you won't be able to hear that. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. Um, let's get some lips. What do we have? I do have new lips. And in my recent Ulta order, I did pick up some ColourPop lip products. I have not tried ColourPop lip products, but I've heard so much about them. I wanted to see what the hype was. Um, and I did put one of these on before, so I do have an an I do have an initial thought, but I want to try it again and see. This is the Lippy Stick Bundle in Got a Minute. There are three shades in here. We have Brink, which is a matte. We have Daydream, which is a matte X, and Gold, Gold Digger, which is a matte X. So um, I'm going to go with the lightest shade because I don't want anything super dark. So we're going to go with Brink. That looks good. Let's see how this looks on the lips. And this is matte instead of matte X. I'm not a huge matte fan, so, because I have some dry lips. My lips are dry, and with this lipstick, they look it. There's like a million lines in my lips right now. They look really bad to me. I also picked up the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. I've heard so many good things. People are like, this is the best lip gloss ever. And again, I think it's maybe because when people say something's the best ever, I expect the best ever, and this is not the best ever. Um, it's not a bad lip gloss, but um, this is lip gloss in the shade Snow Day. It's very pretty. I personally don't like the applicator. It is a brush, but it's a very, very short brush, and it's like kind of stiff. So let me put this on. It does have kind of a vanilla scent. This reminds me of some makeup I wore when I was dancing. Some of my stage makeup. So it's a nice lip gloss, but it's not like the best I've ever used. All right guys, so that is the completed look. I hope that you enjoyed this. It's kind of laid back, just putting on makeup, chatting. Thank you so much. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see future videos, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. I'm going to go ahead and take my bangs down so they can start chilling because they just like to go wee. Okay. I'm too excited. I'm talking too fast. Slow down. I haven't taken a picture yet. Can we have a moment for the tickled peach palette? I'm so excited about this, like I can't, I can't even, okay? So, anyways, I'm just sitting here sniffing makeup. Is that weird? That's weird. Oh my gosh, it's a little baby. Okay, honey, I shrunk the palette. So my hairstylist thinks I should grow my bangs out. What do you guys think? I can't decide. I am crazy, and I do know that.